Hey there, Diane Michael, Cowan Group Communications, and today's vlog is about the ever-changing algorithms of Facebook. Um, we always tout how important and necessary it, it is to keep on top of trends, and our amazing account manager, Justine, has written a very informational blog that I hope that you check out on our website and read about all the changes that have come down the pipe from Facebook um, based on a number of sources that she uh, found. One of the reasons that this came about is every month certain clients get a monthly report where we look into how many likes they received, how many organic views they received on their posts, what their engagement is, and in the past month, from August to September 2020, uh, the percentage that I saw dramatically changed. So that caused us to say, what's going on? Well, what's going on is Mark Zuckerberg himself said, and I quote, expect to see more from friends, family, and groups, and less from businesses, brands, and media. So... For all those people that have worked so hard at building their business brand, we're offering you a few tips if you just go to our website and check them out at thecallengrp.com. But one that really opened my eyes is that Facebook is no longer liking hyperlinks in your posts. So I was taught by um, Darlene with a little blog dress years ago that when you put the URL in posts, that once the image populates, you can remove it. So thanks, Darlene, for that trick years and years and years ago. So we've been adding hyperlinks, obviously, to drive traffic to other sites, whether it's review sites, whether it's websites. Whatever the post is about, we are you know, linking to the newsletters that we're putting out. So right now, Facebook is not liking URLs. That was a shock to me. So thanks, Justine, for giving us that little nugget of information. I'm going to still keep doing it, even though it's said and recommended not to, because I want the user to be able to find information quickly without having to go search for it. But they're, they are saying that they are really liking videos. So the more videos you do, the better. So if you aren't creating a library of videos, Videos for your business, contact Kellen Group Communications. We can help you with that. We can either bring in a professional with high tech, amazing equipment. We use Marlin. He is our. Uh, what, uh, he is our videographer, and he's done some really amazing. Um, uh, he's got a he's got a, a a drone, and you can check out his portfolio on our website under our team as well under the CGC crew. You can look at his work, um, but also we do very organic by the phone videos because I always recommend that the shelf life of videos or posts sometimes is so small, the life is so small that, you know, putting a lot of money into video after video after video um, could be used in other marketing avenues. You know, just like this video, obviously, I just threw it up at my desk. And so, um, you know, I don't need a lot of lighting. I don't feel that a lot of money or a lot of time needs to go into communicating effectively. But less schools of thought on that. If we can help you at Callan Group, we certainly will. Definitely check out that uh, uh, blog about Facebook's algorithms. There's a few more tricks in there that Justine shares with us. But um, very quickly to end it, I was shocked to read that some brands have reported that their organic reach is now only at 2% of their total reach, where before it was not uncommon at all for organic reach to be 80% for a page with a dedicated strategy. So sad times for us that uh, believe in organic posts. However, there are ways around it. So check out the blog and thanks so much for listening. Bye.